So, avoiding the worms and lambs after weaning. What are the important aspects of making sure lambs do well post weaning and aren't consuming high levels of parasite larvae in your system? Really? So the lambs go around post weaning and have a fresh pick of uh, permanent pasture. Normally two to three days per paddock, then they're moved on and then they're followed up and cleaned up with cows or sheep. So those paddocks haven't had any sheep for at least, what, two to three months? Yep, they'll be up. So after weaning, oh, after they've had that grazing of the of the, the grass paddocks, where do they go after that? Uh, so they go through and have another draft and then they go into specialty crops, being leafy turnip that we're standing in. So this leafy turnip, um, it's probably going to do two things for you, is it? It's, uh, it's going to shift the spring moisture into the summer, so you can still get good stock performance. But it's also going to make it very hard for a parasite larvae to climb up and get eaten by lamb if there are any in this in this crop. So what sort of lamb performance have you been getting out of your, your forage crop system? I'd say they're easily 300, maybe 350 grams per day. They do very, very well on it. And, and what information do you use to um, decide whether they are going to get drenched again? It's simple, just egg counts. And using that two to 300 eggs per gram trigger level again? Yep, that's the one. So I'm not going to run them in if I don't have to. Right, that's good. So, uh, Alan mentioned before about integrating stock into the system. Well, we just wanted to go into a wee bit more detail about how you use your different stock classes, particularly after lambs have had that first grazing of your grass paddocks. So, just, just explain how that happens here, Alan. So, once the lambs have gone through, uh, cows come in soon after and they consume a lot of the lamb larvae, and then the next grazing following the cows is also used. So with your ewes, uh, how much drenching have they had throughout the year? Uh, normally one, if they're lucky, and that's always based on condition and egg counts. Right. So you obviously run a reasonably high body condition score ewe flock that doesn't require a lot of drenching. That's the idea of where we are in North Otago. So on point three of uh, monitoring parasite levels in your sheep flock, Ellen, uh, just could you give us some detail about how you strategically use egg counts and, and firstly your lambs? Always eight to ten weeks of age, um, pre-weaning, get an egg count done. And because your lambs are pretty much finished with one or two months after weaning, you probably haven't needed to do too much more egg counting with your lambs? Don't normally, no. So, with the ewe flock, what are the strategic times that you've used egg counting? Uh, Pre-tup and pre-lamb. And is that just to see what level of parasite levels exist at that point? Yeah, just to see the, the loading that's there at the, at the time. Okay. The other aspect of monitoring, Alan, how do you know if your drench that you've used has been effective? Just a post-drench. Egg count. When do you do that? Uh, 10 days after drenching. Right. And uh, have you found that a useful tool? It's always nice to know what your, your slave and in the yards for is working. Good one. Right, Alan, just uh, summarising our discussion here. Uh, for you, for your lamb finishing system, what are the key aspects of maintaining a, a profitable, efficient system? growing lambs as fast as I can and get them off farm so I don't have to carry them into the autumn. And that obviously lead, leads to a lot less drench use. Definitely does and then the ewes running a higher body condition score so again they don't need drenching. Right so it sounds to me that you're sort of ticking some boxes with having healthy animals uh, that don't need a lot of drenching. It sounds like you've uh, got a lot less chemical inputs and it sounds reasonably profitable. Do you think you're going to be achieving these things this year? Definitely think I will.